Good morning, Harris Chapel family. This is installment number eight of a call to pray and fast. I just want to remind you of a couple of things. First of all, the sanctuary is unlocked and the lights up front are on today through Friday. I invite you to bring your family, your friends, just come during the day, take the communion elements, take the Christmas story, and on the back of the Christmas story is the song Silent Night. Enjoy some quiet moments in the sanctuary. Share the communion elements. Read the Christmas story. Take that with you as well to share with your family on either Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. Um, we have a new district leader. He was elected back in August. His name is Pastor Tim Kellerman. When he first started making contact with us on the district, he would just say, I love you. And I was kind of taken back by that because I'm like, he doesn't know me. <laughs> um, I want you to know as somebody who knows you, uh, some of you I've known longer than others, I just want to tell you today, I love you. I am so grateful for my family. You're our surrogate family. You, you are grandparents to our kids. As they were at home growing up, many of you, took an interest in them and shared love with them and just really showed kindness to them and became their family because they were not near their grandparents. So I just today want to just stop and say, I love you. I also want to invite you at 5 p.m. on Christmas Eve, and I'll share this on Early Risers tomorrow. Lydia Combs is going to be playing some beautiful Christmas music before the service. The staff is going to share a message about the Virgin Mary. We're going to sing a couple of Christmas carols and share communion. Bring your family, 5 p.m. in the sanctuary. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for the people who mean everything to me, the people I dearly love. Thank you for this season that reminds us of your love for us, for God so loved the world. It's interesting, we didn't know you but before we knew you, you knew us, and you loved us. Help us to share that love in abundance in these days. In your name, amen.